Hi guys, today we are going to create this restaurant advertisement flyer in Photoshop. So let's start. I already created this, so I will not create it from scratch. What I do is, I elaborate all the process one by one so that you can understand. Let me first hide all the layers. First, let me turn off all the background layers. Here you can see, I am using this brick wall picture as background. Then I applied black and white effect on it. For that, go to image, adjustment, then black and white. And here is the settings which I have used. Now after that, I took a solid color layer from layer adjustment. I choose black color so that it will blend nicely with the background wall. Now select the mask of the solid color layer, then take brush tool. Choose soft round brush and change the brush shape like this. Now increase the size of the brush using square bracket keys. Reduce the brush opacity and click just one time. Make sure your foreground color is black. That's it. Our background is ready. Now it's time to add main text. In this case, it is coming soon. Again, turn off all the sub layers of the main text group. Here I took type tool and write coming soon into different layers. I have used Poppins font here, you can choose as per your choice. After writing, I rotated the text by 6 degrees. Also, I have applied gradient overlay on this text. Let me turn on the rope layer. Firstly, I am going to hide all the other sub layers. Now I will show you how I created this ropes. Take Eclipse Shape tool and created a small round with 5 pixels stroke. Stroke color is black. Then I took Pen tool. Then choose Shape from here. Now simply draw a line straight to the top. Change the stroke color to white. Choose round caps from here. Now copy paste it and apply to other place of the text. It's time for second text. With the help of pen tool or polygonal lasso tool, select corner wise and press Ctrl J to make a copy layer of the selection like this. Our slice text is created. Now applied gradient overlay like previous text. Then add a layer mask on first text and remove the parts which is under slice part like this. Also applied gradient overlay here too. Now it's time to add shadow under the slice layer. Take a new layer and place it under slice layer. Holding control click on the thumbnail of the main text layer to select the pixels. Then take soft round brush, reduce the size of the brush, change foreground color to black and paint like this to create shadow. You can adjust the shadow with opacity. Our slice text is ready. Take a rectangular shape tool and create a rectangle shape. Fill it with the same color as main text have. Then rotate it minus 6 degree same as before, then apply gradient overlay. 
This is the settings I have used for gradients. This is the color code I have used. I used foreground to transparent gradient. Now it's time to add the pictures. Also, I have added shadow by taking new layers under the picture layer. Here I have used burn tool to darken the lower part of the food. Now add some coriander leaves for decoration. Here I have used polygonal lasso tool to select different leaf, then used mask to hide other shapes. I have applied levels to match with background color and contrast. Now add the remaining text. Simply take text tool and type your text. Then with rectangular shape tool, create a shape and fill with red color. Then applied gradient overlay. I also tilted this in the same way I did before. Black to transparent gradient I used here. This is the gradient settings. Then add a text and place it here in the middle of the shape. Lastly, added the logo. This logo is AI generated logo. Also apply drop shadow here. This is the shadow settings. Our project is ready. This is our final product. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button for future updates. See you soon.